And each year on Christmas, parents rush around to find the toy. You know, that most popular item that always sells out early. Well, in past years, that's been Barbie or board games or even Raggedy Ann. Some of our favorite toys made their debut during the holidays. So let's take a trip back down memory lane. I remember that. Ah, uh, nostalgia. It's the feeling we get when seeing our old toy friends after years apart. It can be a Barbie, a bike, or a baby doll. Many pieces of our childhood history are displayed at the Kruger Street Toy and Train Museum. And it probably won't surprise you that quite a few of them made their debut on Christmas. In the 90s, it was Tickle Me Elmo. In the 80s, uh, Cabbage Patch Kids, which the two that a lot of people will remember. But it goes as far back as the 1920s, when Raggedy Ann was the favorite. That's also the decade of teddy bears, crayons, and tinker toys. And while each generation had some of its favorites, many of the popular toys were a sign of the times. Right after World War II, Lionel Trains made the list. They've been out way before that, but because they quit production during the war, war when they came back, Everyone wanted one. Some of the past's most popular toys may surprise you, like microscope sets in the 30s and even pop-up books in the 40s. That one really kind of shocked me. And what really shocked me was when I was researching it, the, origin, the earliest ones were from like 1400s. Others quickly became classics that spanned generations. Beanie Babies. Although it's more adults to collect them than kids wanting them, but they're still popular. And of course, Barbie hasn't gone out of style since her release in 1959. Now they have holiday Barbies, which started in 1988, I believe, was the first year for that. And that's a super uh, special thing that kids want. No matter which toy is your favorite, remember that each of the classics has a story of how it came to be. Monopoly was 1937. And what's cool with that, Parker Brothers refused it the first time uh, Charles Morrow pitched it to him. They said no. So he went and produced it himself. A lot of the toys you just saw are on display all year long at the Kruger Street Toy and Train Museum, and they have a Christmas village set up right now. Plus, the museum is planning a bunch of activities for its 25th anniversary that will start in the new year. Also happening